Hey guys. Hey, good morning. It's Monday. We've been thinking uh, a lot lately about the videos and the um, the people that we watched when we were preparing to go full time. Mm -hmm. A lot of it was kind of the daily life and inside the camp or around the campground, things that they were doing that really helped us to plan for our trip. Yeah, and it's kind of funny as as we started doing videos, it's hard to do videos inside the camper, brushing your teeth and cooking, bedtime routines, that kind of thing, because we think it's boring stuff. Right. You know, we love doing the videos of, you know, hiking and, you know, sightseeing, but trying to videotape us and here we think nobody wants to see that but then we think back to when we were in our planning phase and those are the videos we loved we right. loved watching bedtime routines we loved watching cooking in the in the, the camper right. so we're gonna you know try to be more intentional about getting more of that kind of stuff out there right some daily living and we'll, yeah. we'll still do you know kind of the more produced videos with um you know the hikes and the sightseeing and different right. things like that but we want to try and get some day-to-day -day stuff on here in a in a more real-time basis i guess it's a challenge it's it's harder than you would think um but uh, we're gonna give it a go so if there's anything that you guys want to um you know questions you have or comments that you have leave them in the comments below uh, that really will help us know what direction to take these videos if you like the videos, please, you know, subscribe and give us a thumbs up. And that lets us know we're going the right direction with them. We want to do whatever we can to help everybody out. Since it's Monday, a, a big surprise to me going into this trip is how much I love my Mondays. I think, you know, not since we're homeschooling, we don't have the hustle and bustle of the morning, you know, that six o'clock morning routine right. where we're getting everybody up out of bed, getting breakfast done and rushing out the door. Things are slowed down a little bit. We love that. We, we have our time in the morning, but Mondays are my planning days. I have the kids school agendas. I give them their work throughout the week and I'm a little bit laid back. So they have their work planned out for the week. I don't check it daily. We go over it all on Fridays. And as long as it's all done by Friday, you know, they know if they're having a great focus day, they can hurry up and get a whole bunch done. And then the next day they don't have as much to do. So we're pretty flexible with that um, kind of stuff. Anyway, it's fun getting them all set up for the week. And then I have my own agenda where we put our stuff in and um, we've just really tried to start being more intentional about sitting together and planning our week and our time. All right. We tend to get up just a little bit before the kids do. So we'll make the coffee, we'll, you know, brush our teeth, we'll, um, sit down at the table together, have a cup of coffee and have that mm -hmm. time to talk mm -hmm. and kind of plan out our days and our weeks. And that's something we didn't have when we were living in our Six and Bricks house. Right. We, you know, we, we had our, our jobs, the kids had their school. We were out the door, you know, by seven o'clock in the morning. Right. And so we didn't have that time. And I think that that is a big. That's a huge bonus. A, yeah. That's, that's one of the biggest benefits of this. There's a lot of stuff that uh, we'll, we'll talk about in later videos that is really stressful about doing this, mm. but. <laughs> and even even planning as much as you know having my agenda filled out and having you know our our days you know plan in advance there there is who who said it who did you hear say it was it oh uh less junk more journey when we were getting ready for this trip we watched it like most of you probably do we watched less junk more journey they had a video about decision fatigue and I thought I kind of understood it. Like a lot of other things, you think you kind of understand it, but when you dive in and you get to full timing, decision fatigue is real. Yeah, it stresses me out. And it, it's almost impossible to plan for us anyway, to, like our summer. We, we don't know where we're going to be. You know, we, we can make the plans and then something happens where, you know, we're delayed a week. Right. And so I hate to have campground reservations made that far in advance like we don't even have campground reservations made for the fourth of july right. and so that is stressing me out because you know the campgrounds are all going to be full but we have no idea where we're going to be right. so um it's just it's just we, more we've got some to... anchor points now right and and I mean, we're, we won't say where or when yet but uh 
next August, we know where we need to be because we got some work lined up and we'll talk more about that as it gets closer. Um, and we know that we need to get up to Washington to see my grandmother. Um, that is a, a huge priority on this trip. We're excited about that. Right. And then uh, Kimberly has a training in June that we got to get to. So we know all these different places that we are, are going to be um, at those specific times. But how to get from here to there. Yeah, and All the in-between is up in there. Right. Air. Right. So it's nice. It is nice to have. We've, we've always, from the beginning, we've always had those anchor points, you know, things that, you know, family and friends that we needed to see. And then the in-between is more up in the air. Right. And there's never enough time. Like right now, we're still in Tucson and we're driveway surfing. And the time flies. You know, you, you think you've got somewhere... You're, you plan to be somewhere for, you know, give yourself a couple months. And my my biggest recommendation is to start doing the things that you wanted to do immediately. Like, as soon as you get there, you need to start knocking those things off of your, your list of things that you wanted to visit. Because next thing you know, it you're down to two weeks. Get to it. <laughs> start, start doing your sightseeing. Start doing the things that you want to do as soon as you get, get to a location. You see on the videos... Us doing a hike in Sabino Canyon was one of the recent ones, or going to the rodeo, or catching uh, fish down in the Florida Keys, or what have you. But in between all that, you also you're not on vacation. You still have to work, and you still have to figure out how to make the ends meet, and right. and you still have to make the repairs on the camper. You still have to keep the truck up. You you know, there grocery shopping. There's laundry. the day to, laundry, mm -hmm. right? There's the day to day stuff that you still have. Right. You do have more time, but you still have to get those things done. You are not just on vacation. Right. Something to keep in mind when you're planning your time out. Right. Something we're having to keep in mind when we're planning our time out and adjusting to that kind of thing. So. All right. So what are we doing today? Um, I have a webinar that starts in a half hour. Right. Kimberly is a travel agent and she does that from the camper. Mm -hmm. And um, so she has been knocking that out and doing training and um, booking cruises and Hawaiian trips and stuff like that. So she's been really rocking that. And that takes up a lot of time. Yeah. It takes up a lot of time. And the, there's a challenge with that with us all to either be quiet or be gone <laughs> mm -hmm. while she's doing her work. So she's got that webinar today. Mm -hmm. And then we've got a plan for between now and I guess we need to be in Vegas in June. Right. So for her uh, training she has there. So in Vegas. In Vegas, right. <laughs> right. Yeah. I do have a, a good friend of mine uh, here in Tucson that has uh, graciously volunteered to help me, you know, take up some time in Vegas while uh -huh. Kimberly is in her uh, training. But between now and then we got to figure out, okay, how do we get from where we're at now where do we go next? What do we want to see on the way? How do we fit that in with the time budget and the money budget and get up to my grandmother in Washington? Right. There's so much that we want to see between here and Washington. The Oregon coast, we're super excited. I have never been Northwest. You know, we lived here in Tucson for five years when he, when James was in the Air Force, but um, I have not ever been Northwest. I have not ever, you know, seen the great big redwood trees we are super excited right super excited about our journey up there and we want to take advantage of as much as we can right on our trip all right so that's what we got going on today again um if you uh enjoy the videos please consider subscribing uh it really helps us out the click the thumbs up um that that helps us as well please leave comments we'd love some feedback to kind of know what direction to take these videos what's going to help you out what do you want to see we try and respond to all the comments that we can. Uh, also, check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Kim really does a great job with Instagram. Um, almost daily updates on both of those. That's a great way to communicate with us as well. So uh, we'd love to hear from y'all. We'll catch you later. Bye. Bye.